Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another speed test video. Now today the Xperia XZ Premium is going up against the Sony Xperia Z3 Compact. Now this phone is roughly around 3 years old. This phone is the Sony flagship of 2014. Uh, actually Sony released two phones. One was the Z3 Compact and the other was the Sony Xperia Z3. There were two major hardware differences between the Z3 and the Z3 Compact. On the Compact you get 2GB of RAM, on the Z3 you get 3. Secondly on the Z3 Compact you get a 720p screen so less number of pixels to work with on the Compact. So this phone should give you a rough idea on how the Xperia Z3 performs because the processor is the same. So let me quickly run through the specifications of both of these phones. The Xperia XZ Premium runs the latest Snapdragon 835 CPU that is paired with 4GB of RAM and you get ultra fast UFS 2.1 storage. On the other hand, the Xperia Z3 Compact runs a Snapdragon 801 processor that is paired with 2GB of RAM and you get a regular speed 16GB of eMMC storage. Lastly, the Z3 Compact runs Android Marshmallow 6.0.1. Premium runs the latest Android version, Android 7.1.1, Android Nougat. Alright guys, so first off we have the boot speed test. I'm gonna press the power button simultaneously on both of these phones in 3, 2, 1. And we're gonna see which phone starts up first. And the premium is on the home screen already, ready to be used, no lag at all. And the combat just follows. Same result with the Z3 Compact, absolutely no lags. And one thing I want to tell you guys is that the stamina mode is turned off on both of these phones. So let me go to battery. So stamina mode is turned off because we want the maximum performance out of the phone. So guys the way I do all my speed test is that I have a couple of applications on the home screen. I will launch these applications one by one and we'll see which phone is better at it. And then in the middle I will do some multitasking and see which phone is better at multitasking. So let us start off with the album application. I'm going to launch it in 3, 2, 1. You can see how fast the Snapdragon 835 is on the XZ Premium. So second app we have here is Subway Surfers. And already go ahead and start playing on the premium. And the Z3 Compact just follows. Next up we have Tempo Run 2. I'm going to launch it in 3, 2, 1. Wow, actually, the premium is performing great. So let's go ahead and minimize this. Move on to Dead Trigger 2. I'm going to press play. Man, the premium is so much quicker than the compact. But then again, this is a three year old phone and runs a Snapdragon 801. So let's go ahead and do a little bit of multitasking and see how these phones perform. 
gonna restore the album map okay similar results subway surfers it is also running in the background go back to temple run again no problems up till now let's continue let's open ESPN open smash it let's try multitasking once again let's resume dead trigger and here you can clearly see how much difference a 4 gigabyte ram phone makes the game is loading from the scratch on the combat meanwhile the game is already in the memory on the premium so I'm gonna wait for this to resume again let's try something else let's try tempo run this was in the RAM, no problem. Let's continue with YouTube. Okay, let's move on to Instagram. So, camera app in three, two, one. You can see how how much faster the premium is hi funny so multitasking test once again to resume subway surface and here you can see how much difference a 4 gigabyte ram phone makes the game is already running on the XZ Premium, meanwhile it is reloading on the Compact. So yeah, 4 gigabyte RAM does make a little bit of difference. But I think that must be due to uh, the different Android version because this runs Android Marshmallow and this one is running Nougat which is far more better at optimization. I'm gonna disconnect internet. because I want to try B612 and B612 kind of crashes so here you can see how quickly the B612 app launched while still waiting over here there we go so let us reconnect and try some web browsing so let's go to GSM Arena Yeah, more or less the same and uh, might be slightly better on the XZ Premium. Let's open up an article. Let's go to a different website. That was almost instantaneous, I'm guessing. Yeah, no difference in web browsing between these two. Uh, the difference is almost negligible. Let's open Play Store. So far, I'm really impressed with the Z3 Compact, getting up with the latest flagship like a champ. So again, a little bit of multitasking. So let's resume, smash it, see if it reloads. Oh yeah, it is reloading on the compact. So there you go guys, the 
2 gigabyte versus 4 gigabyte RAM does make a difference Oh yeah, both of these phones are reloading the dead trigger game. But you can see how quick the premium was in reloading. So let's try PowerPoint. Hope it doesn't ask me for signing in. You can see how long it took on the compact. So let's open this presentation. And there you go guys it is asking me for signing in but if we scroll down to the last slide see which one loads up first and there you go there is a difference but the difference is not that huge when it comes to a regular app but when it comes to loading up the games like subway surfers you saw how much difference uh, there is Let's see it over here but yeah guys I'm really happy with the Z3 compact it's keeping up like a champ even though this is a three-year-old phone and not to mention this one has two gigabytes of RAM versus double the RAM on the Xperia XZ premium as that concludes this video if you have any questions feel free to ask me in the comment section down below thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time